So probably uh, it was a prelude, no, to our hundred years in 1995. Suddenly, two branches were created. Because mm. during those times, the top branches namin were really the Chinese branches. Mm. So, uh, in insular life, na the district manager left to go abroad. So they're looking for a district manager to replace him. So in other words, I was promoted from a unit manager Derecho. to a district manager, oh. Derecho. Oh. Oh. For, for lack of uh, someone to replace the one who resigned, right? <laughs> you know, it's so difficult to handle people whom you do not know really. Kasi, they were just there. And it's so difficult to get their commitment, their loyalty. You have learned a lot from them. Parang naging practice ba for me to be able to lead. But it's different when you are the ones recruiting. Yes. Yes. Years, no, of your career, uh, it can be said that the life insurance industry uh, is a more male-dominated industry. No, There were more male managers than female managers. Um, how challenging was it for the two of you uh, to develop, to grow, and to thrive in a male-dominated industry? Uh, make sure that there is no communication, no communication gap and that you continue to be an effective leader for these generations. No? My children are Gen Y and frankly speaking, I have a hard time dealing with them as I am a BB. <laughs> Baby boomers. Welcome to our episode for tonight, which we aptly entitled 100% Activity Ratio Doable this pandemic. Yeah. Hello. Hi, Judy. How are you? a very, very heartfelt and warm welcome. So maybe no one cared enough to talk about how important financial planning is to to my family, and that's the reason why. Ito pong career na ito, itong negosyo na ito para sa akin po. Hindi lang po ito something na ginagawa ko as a business. Yeah. But para sa akin, personal po ito sa akin. Yeah. And hopefully, I can inspire a lot of leaders to accept what is the current reality right now because there's a lot of opportunities where we can expand our business and reach more Filipinos. But more than that, help more Filipinos so that no Filipino family would ever experience what we would experience in our lives. Um, well, before I can share you probably the strategy or the structure Maybe for, for all the viewers that who's watching right now, I want you to understand and accept that, that in the new way, there are actually three ways of working with people. What are these three things? First thing is inform first thing is informational. Mm -hmm. Second is motivational. The third is transformational. Informational, no? Even ako po nung nag-uumpisa ako, ang hinahanap ko talaga mission. Parang po yung kung, kung para po kung paano ko sasagutin po yung tanong, no? I, I can answer it in an informational way by just giving ano yung solution sa problema. Second thing, okay? If nabigay na natin lahat ng information, baka kulang sa motivation, yun yung call back. Eh. Baka kulang sa motivation kaya hindi gumagalaw or nagte action. Hello, Miss Ida. <laughs> Hello, Jay. Hello, Ari. Thank you Hi. for having me with the Leaders in Action. Thank you. Good Thank evening. You for everybody watching. Yeah. Good evening. Huh? Good evening to you. So, most of my team members are millennials. I would say about 45% uh, are millennials. Then, sa Gen X, about 34% are Gen X. Then, we have 20% na boomers. Even when they were already building their teams, no, syempre, busy, busy sila, you and your uh, siblings were somehow exposed also. So, nakikita, nakikita nyo yun. Yes. Siguro maganda yun. Kasi if you want to brainwash your children to join you, bata pa lang siya, i-brainwash nyo na. So, yung mga ginagawa nila, yung mga ganun, nakikita namin eh. And slowly, life improved. 
So somehow, meron siyang effect sa mga bata na nag improve siya. So if there are parents here watching, sabi ko nga, this session is dedicated for you. So if there are also children na kinukulit kayo ng parents nyo, for a reason, nagpakulit din ako eh. Not everybody also will say no nicely. Some will make you feel something eh. So pag nakikita yan ng mga bata, nakita ko yun eh. So yun yung mga reason na, ay ayoko, ayoko mag ganyan. Ayoko mag-sales, ayoko mag-join sa inyo. So, so children na may parents who are backing them up, nagkakaroon siya ng confidence. May backer ako, di ba? Uh, ano naman yung mga ano, what, what were the initial challenges that you faced when you assumed the leadership? Sobrang recruitment. Recruitment. Sobrang recruitment up until now. Hmm. Kaya nga medyo nalulungkot ako when people keep paying. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi mahirap talaga mag-recruit. Kaya siguro they resort to something like that as a desperate oh. move. Hi, Miss Mariles. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, Jay. Good evening, Ivy. The best teacher is by doing it. By showing it by example. Hindi lang namin sila pinutuloan how to sell. But we really show to them how to, to do the business properly, ethically, and professionally. Resiliency can be developed. How do we know that they have this? Pinakausap po namin, we are very close to our agent. We are so blessed kasi hindi po masyadong malaki po yung aming group. I got an ID to help me go through all this process. Yan din po yung ano, ina-advise po namin sa aming mga agent. That they have to be either creative, but they have no choice but learn how to adapt yeah. sa aming bagong situation, no? Every year, syempre, meron kayong dinadagdag ng mga tao sa members nyo. How do your values guide you when choosing the new members of your team? Marami namang values na maging matagal. Hindi naman lahat nandiyan na agad sa kanila. Hindi na sa kanila. Pwede nandiyan, hindi lang nila nakikita. Tamo rin po na if you do your work right, the income will find hirap ng generation gap, no? At least, Ama. maganda na sila na yung mag-usap. And we leave it to our son. Yung, you've mentioned, meron kayong mga non-negotiable core values. Meron ho ba kayong conscious or intentional uh, time spent to the values para siguraduhin nyo na yung values ninyo matibay at uh, meron kayong nadadagdag na bago dahil sa tumatakbong panahon. We always that to them every meeting kasi we, we meet every week we have these motivational values where all these values are upheld why because um modesty aside we are being uh, used as a role model in other agencies not only in the company but in other companies hello paul and nina good evening miss j good evening mr ivy without the support of one it would be very very difficult I always want to be on it uh, we give our we give our all to whatever it is that we start and whatever it is that we do. Uh, I, I think the major challenge we do was uh, first it was internal. Can we really be leaders? Um, the self belief. Um, it was difficult to, to accept accept that uh, that reality when you when you mortgage your home for a quarter of its value. Uh, just to be able to uh, set up the agency because we were looking at uh, not being marketable anymore at 32, right? Does it matter that your identity is individual in a partnership? Sometimes talaga, ID, no, it tends to, to get smeared. <laughs> right. Blurred We're talaga ang lines. It's, it's definitely not black and white. Um, there are advantages and disadvantages to that IP. I totally agree. Definitely, there are crossovers, but I suppose kasi ID, what happened to Paul and I in the beginning, things kind of just fell into place. But when we, we literally did a feasibility study, ID and J, of the business, not just crunching the numbers. Yung bang hidden na parang professional jealousy? I've never felt that way. Uh, I did. Um, we always root for each other uh, because nga iba naman yung aming specialty. Siguro more of uh, kung baga pa parang scale, balancing scale. Tama ba tong ginagawa ko? 
who normally has the last say? Simplified lang that uh, I am the head of the family. My wife is the neck. Wherever the neck goes, the head will follow. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to sales and uh, operations, I'm the one who, who has to weigh the decision. When it comes to administrative and when it comes to um, uh, head office relationships, then Nina is the uh, is, uh, one, is the point person. Good evening, Jay. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our episode 6 of season 2. Tonight, we're scheduled to have a mother and son tandem to talk about their dynamics in running the agency. This is the second of our series, Discussing Grand Businesses. A good follow-up from last week's interview of the Borromeo Power Couple. And this, again, promises to be another insightful conversation. Good evening, Mr. Ivy, and good evening to all our Thursday Kapamilya here in Leaders in Action. We are again very happy that you are joining us uh, again tonight for another interesting conversation with our very special guest. But before we move further to our episode, we would like to thank again our special guests last week, Mr. Paul and Ms. Nina Borromeo of True Life UK, our power couple who generously shared their experience and tips on how to manage a successful agency business as husband and wife. They emphasize the need to have a very clear definition of roles and the importance of both communication and consultation. Again, if you want to watch that interview, you can visit our Facebook page and YouTube channel. At isa pang reminder nila to all couples working together is to always keep in mind that their work has love as its foundation. This ensures that the trust, confidence, and respect which are vital to any business will always be present. But moving to our episode this evening, another kind of dynamics is present in a parent-child partnership, in this case, mother and son. But as they say, just because you love your son or your mother does not mean that you can work with him or her well. There are challenges and of course, there's got to be great rewards. And we are not even talking and factoring the in-laws in the equation. Yes. In appearance, Mr. Ivy, it looks like a parent-child team is designed, is positioned for success, and parang very smooth sailing. Mm -hmm. But in reality, sa totoo lang, there are a number of issues that both sides must contend with. For example, the concern about control. Mm -hmm. Sino ba talaga ang may control sa agency? Or is the parent willing and ready to give up control? And if yes, how much of that control is the parent willing to give up? There is also the question about management style, respect of tradition, and the need for innovation. How do they agree on all of these issues? Not to mention, Mr. Ivy, the age gap which can also lead to communication gap. Alam naman natin na yung ating mga millennials and Gen Zs, they have their own set of di different no set of language na sila lang ang nagkakaintindihan. And they are very much into technology which can be uncomfortable and uh, alien to some parents. So it is very interesting to know how they are able to manage all these issues while making sure that, that, that the agency bottom line is being met. On the other hand naman, 
sigurado merong mga advantages when the child works with the parent and vice versa. For example, uh, there is that strong likelihood that they understand each other much better and will be more comfortable with each other ikumpara when strangers are working together. And this familiarity also lends well to ensuring that they complement each other and will be able to fill the gap na meron yung isa. Hence, making the work much more efficient. At there is greater assurance that yung todong suporta will be there whenever they are needed. Of course, working as a team means also that the parent and the child will be spending a lot more time together and further enriching the relationship. Siguro naman, the joy that they will experience when they succeed is immeasurable. Yes. We were supposed to be joined tonight by the mother and son tandem of Ms. Edna Gunn and Mr. Reynold Gunn of Regan Financial, which is AIA Philippines number two, no? wow. uh, second biggest uh, wow. and largest uh, agency in terms of manpower complement. Unfortunately, just a few hours ago, we uh, received news that manager Ed Nagan has to be brought to the hospital for some medical attention. Uh, we are praying that nothing serious about that. Uh, manager Edna, please get well soon. Uh, take uh, the necessary rest that you need. And happy birthday. Oh. Oh, Mr. Ivy, birthday pa naman ni Miss Edna ngayon. Yeah, eh, oh, oh, oh. Oh, eh. Sayang, no? uh, talagang tayo ay nakaposition to uh, have her with us tonight. No? But of course, syempre, priority po ang health. No? So Miss yes. Edna, again... Yeah. Uh, please uh, get well soon. But Mr. Ivy, we are very happy that we are still being joined by the other half of the mother and son tandem tonight. He is a multi-awarded agency leader and a consistent MDRT qualifier to include a TOT and multiple COT distinctions. He prides himself as the youngest Life and qualifying MDRT member, Mr. IB, in Southeast Asia. So, yes, yeah. so uh, talagang uh, award, multi awarded siya both as a financial advisor and as an agency manager or as an agency leader. So, please, ladies and gentlemen, please let us give a warm welcome to our very special guest tonight. Agency Manager, Reynold Gunn. Hi, good evening. Hey, Reynold. Hi, Reynold. good evening. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, Kamusta? hi. Mabuti. Welcome to uh, Leaders in Action. Thank you again for accepting our invitation. Pero bago ang lahat, konting update muna. Kamusta si Miss Edna? What's the latest update on her medical condition? Ayun po. Actually, ano naman, uh, she's already on uh, IV. So may IV na siya. Tapos uh, naka-isolate lang sa ER. Hindi naman COVID po. So thank goodness, it's not COVID. Uh, negative, po, negative po sa COVID. But uh, syempre, we want to find out then what is causing the, yeah, the, the fever and all. Mm -mm. Ayun. Pero well, happy birthday din kay ma'am. <laughs> birthday niya ngayon. Oo nga. Very yes. special po. Nasa hospital ang kanyang celebration. <laughs> Yes, uh, it's her 30th birthday pa naman din uh, today, no? So, <laughs> oh, oh, happy, oh, birthday. Oh, oh, happy birthday to uh, manager Edna. But again, uh, Reynold, no, maraming salamat. Uh, notwithstanding that uh, your mom uh, has just been brought to the hospital, you decided to still uh, continue with this conversation. Uh, again, thank you. And uh, marami na akong utang sa inyo ni Lea, no? So I hope both you and your three kids are, are doing very well. Oh, welcome po, welcome. And uh, well, ano, mom wouldn't have it any other way na kahit na, in fact, kahit na may sakit siya, she would really want to be here except syempre in the hospital, hindi po yeah. siya naka-make up and all. So, uh, <laughs> pero kung nasa bahay lang si mom, she will, ano, she will be here definitely. 
Mm-hmm. Well, again, thanks to uh, Miss Edna also, and uh, we pray that you will get soon. Yes. So, uh, Reynold, before we start uh, the the meat of this uh, conversation, siguro for the other listeners who are not, because uh, maraming bago sa industry natin, uh, we we take this opportunity to tell uh, you tell them about yourself and your team. Siguro is uh, at what young age did you join the agency? And uh, what made you decide uh, to join our industry? Okay, po. Uh, actually, I'm I'm 20 years already in the insurance industry. Wow. Uh, mm-hmm. Yes, po. So that means I started at the age of three years old. Oh, ano man? Kasi 30 years old ang si mami mo, no? So dapat oh, oh. <laughs> Ibig sabi na, na no, mom had me when she was eight years old. <laughs> Oh, but uh, yeah, 20 years na po this year and uh, I joined the um, AIA Philippines, formerly Film Life, uh, when I was 21, 21 years old. And uh, fresh graduate from Ateneo. Ayan, go Ateneo. <laughs> Ayan, and uh, si mom uh, got me to, to join the industry because I wanted to also uh, sharpen my sales skills. So was yes. it really your mom who pushed you all the way or kahit pa paano, you already had that inkling that you wanted to be in this uh, in this kind of a profession? Uh, actually, sir, ano po, uh, I don't want to be in the insurance industry <laughs> from the very start. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm just being candid about it. Uh, yeah, I, yes. I felt that uh, I was a graduate from the Ateneo de Manila. So... To sell insurance for somebody who graduated from such a prestigious university, parang it felt like a downgrade, no? Because parang downer. Oh. Yes, because 20 years ago, the you know the reputation of um, being an insurance agent is not like today, na financial advisory and all. Yon. So, si mom naman, she got me to uh, to join her agency, very fresh with the film life at that time. Uh, to be her parang IT IT or tech technician niya parang ganon right. uh, and then uh, she told me na oh, while you're while you're here magpalisensya ka na rin so very subtle very <laughs> subtle yung kanyang so sabi ko ma ayokong mag insurance talaga and she said na hindi ano naman just in case just in case na may baka may mabentahan ka ano ayan so nagpa-license po ako Masunuring bata. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see, as, as Jay mentioned, in such a short time, you already became uh, an MDRT. And hindi lang yon, you were a consistent COT and then rich a TOT. So you've become successful as a financial advisor. And then you decided to become a leader. So paano yon? Paano mo na paano ka nagkaroon ng decision na maging leader? Uh, ano po yun eh? I was an advisor for five years, uh, to, 2001 to 2005. And then in 2005, uh, natural progression po kasi I was, uh, I was already hitting MDRT as an advisor. Right. Yeah. Uh, in fact, on my first full year uh, in the industry, I hit top of the table kagad. Wow. So, oh, okay. uh, yes. top, top of the table on my first full year, uh, I brought in over 17 million pesos in premiums. Uh, medyo ano siya eh, um, ma- malalaking clients yung na-close, no? mga VIPs. Yun. And then uh, succeeding years, MDRT, nauulit yung MDRT. And then at uh, pagdating na 2005, that's when I my mom said to me na you might want to uh, help others grow because you know you're growing here, you might want to help others to grow. So, inaform niya na ako ng team noon. Hmm. Masunuring bata po ako. So, sunod lang ng sunod. <laughs> I think it's a very important quality no, to become successful. Uh, sumunod sa marurunong no, and with wisdom. Now, uh, moving ahead, how, how big na is your agency now? And what's the profile of your advisors? Actually po, ano, uh, yung, to follow up sa kanina lang po, Sir IB, Ma'am J, uh, may kasabihan di ba na mother knows best. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I always, <laughs> yeah. So pag sinabi ni mother, wag ka na question question, sumunod ka na lang. <laughs> That's the first ano, secret formula. 
Yes, true. Now, to answer po yung question ni Sir IB, so um, Regan Financial is, in fact, uh, we're celebrating our 20th year this year as an agency. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. And uh, thank you Congrats. po, thank you. Uh, congratulations. And uh, our uh, manpower, we're nearly at 200, uh, 200, nearly 200 strong financial advisors. And uh, we have 25 leaders in our team. So the 25 leaders are associate unit managers and unit managers. Now, I think the, the biggest uh, strength in our agency as of now, especially in today's circumstances, around 93% of our population are millennials and Gen mm -hmm. Z. Mm -hmm. So, so we, in fact, we can count uh, the, C, the boomers in, in two hands. Now we have nine <laughs> boomers. <laughs> Nine we, we only have nine uh, standing boomers in our agency. The rest are millennials, Gen X, 93% po, really young. Uh, and we have the third, we are the third largest in terms of manpower in AIA mm. Philippines. All right. Congratulations yes. if you've grown quite rapidly. Uh, and a uh, very good point that you highlighted uh, millennials and Gen Zs are really adapting very well to the new environment in life insurance selling by digital. Yes, ma'am. I have to congratulate Ms. Edna no, for the subtle way of recruiting <laughs> you. So, mukhang uh, naging very successful yung formula na yon ni Ms. Edna. Uh, Reynold, uh, may I ask, how long have you been co-managing the agency with your mom? Uh, I was uh, promoted as co-agency manager in 2014, uh, but since I was a unit manager since 2005, so essentially even in 2005, pa lang, it's like, um, well, unofficially, we were already co-managing uh, the agency. Already. Yes. And, uh, on the job. On the job yes. training. <laughs> on the job training. Yes, Paul. Now, oh, oh, why, why did you decide to go into that uh, co-management already. Saan nanggaling yung, anong pinanggalingan ng decision na yon, Reynold, back in 2005? Uh, in 2005 po, so I was a unit manager already. Unit manager and, pa. Yes po. Uh, and then, I was uh, quite successful then in a way in forming my unit, growing my unit. In fact, uh, on the year before I became a co-agency manager, 2013, uh, my unit was already ranked, I think, number two next to Ana Blanco's unit at that time. Mm. Oh, so uh, then in 2014, my mom approached me. Uh, she told me uh, outright that you know she's having a difficult time already in managing the agency. Um, she's not getting any younger, and it's also a tough work talaga for one person. So she asked me if I can step up and uh, be promoted as a co-agency manager with her, so that we can together we can manage and grow together. Yep. So parang ano na rin to, no? succession planning na in a way. Yes, yes po. Okay. So, ano to, from the side of your mom. Uh, mm -hmm. Reynolds, of course, siyempre bata ka pa noong 2014, di ba? Uh, being being ano to, no? that young okay, and already going to assume the agency managership position, what were your initial concerns at the time? Ikaw muna, personally. Ano yung naging concerns mo when you were making that decision? And then after that, as, as both kayo ni mama mo at saka na ikaw, ano yung common concerns nyo when you were making that decision? Uh, well, it was, uh, of course, it's a big responsibility. Uh, jumping from just managing a unit to becoming all of a sudden a co-agency manager. So at first I was uh, concerned because it uh, it's pretty uh, it's a pretty big role to fill, and the the thing is uh, as long as you have the trust uh, trust in the process trust in your uh, like oh, I, I have one hundred percent trust in my mom that she will support me uh, she will guide me in this new role mm -hmm. so hindi rin ako natakot to step up and and uh, assume the ano, assume the role. Mm -mm. That, that, that's nice to hear no? because uh, one of the pressing issues usually no, uh, in, in a parent-child partnership is the issue about control or autonomy mm. or the lack of it. No? Yes. Um, Reynold, if I may ask, uh, 
has there been any issue uh, or was it ever an issue from your end that uh, you might be losing your identity in the shadow of your very successful mother? Ah, uh, hindi uh, naman po naging issue. In fact, ano yan eh, uh, syempre as uh, as the son, I always uh, uh, defer to my mom, no? So, in fact, uh, when when the co-agency management uh, arrangement was uh, done in 2014, so what happened was that uh, our roles were clearly defined naman. So, in uh, aside from yung aside from the co-manager position, the culture of the agency also started to change. No? Um, internally, our agency, although we're known as Regan Financial in the company, internally, our people, we call it Regan Financial Army or RFA. Okay. So, bakit Army? Uh, because yung apelido namin is GAN. No? So, parang GAN, guns. So, medyo military. Okay. Uh, but, exactly. syempre, oh, oh, following in that uh, that that line military pero ang military has the strength the honor the discipline ganyan so along with that co-management setup parang we started rebranding the agency into a military army okay. uh, and uh, in that regard since mom is para kumbaga AM1 no mom is the commanding officer or the CO she is the CO uh, i am the XO i am the executive officer uh, di ba So, <laughs> diba? Like sa mga, yung mga, ano, yung mga military movies, yeah. yung mga submarine, you have an CEO, you have an XO, diba? Hmm. So, even if we are co-managers by title, uh, our roles are defined na it's really my mom who's the commanding officer and I am the executive officer. Mm -hmm. So, hindi naman po kami nagkaroon ng conflict or issues on that. Um, I, I readily accepted it because it's an I mas gusto ko po talaga yon because si mom naman has more experience talaga in managing the agency than me. That that's good to hear no na talaga yung role uh, clarification no at yung uh, definition ng inyong roles no is very uh, has been very clear from the very start. Uh, mm. aside from that uh, Reynog, uh, what can you say Uh, did Miss Edna? Uh, what did she do, or how did she make you feel that even uh, she is your mother, but as co-managers you are equal? Okay. Um, pagdating po sa ano namin, it's also yun yung clearly defined then. So si Mom, being the standing parang operations head nga for the longest time. Uh, she handles the admin, the operations, the you know, the day-to-day -day processes in the agency. Now, uh, since I am the ano, the MDRT, the producer, I would handle the sales, training, and marketing side of our agency. So yun yung kumbaga, That's what that's my uh, that's my strength. Eh. So my strength is selling. My strength is you know prospecting. So dun ako nag-focus. Si Ma'am naman, her strength really is in management. So, doon din siya nag-focus. Okay, that's good. That's good. So, I think... I think uh, hearing what you've uh, mentioned about division and clarity of roles no, is very important. Kasi nga, pag dalawa ang nagrara ng agency, there is always the risk of confusion, overlaps, and duplications. No? And uh, because you were able to divide very clearly yung responsibility, no? I'm sure nakatulong to sa mga advices ninyo. No? So, for example, uh, more specific, sa pag-finances, who makes, who makes the decision kapag oh, mag-invest tayo rito, gumastos tayo rito? Is it a common decision o si mami mo ang bahala doon? Actually, ano po siya, um, when I became co-manager with mom, so uh, she turned over all the financials to me also. Oh. So, right. ako yung parang naging accounting treasurer din ng agency. Ako ang may hawak ng kaban. <laughs> so, okay. yes, I I handled the yeah, the, the expenses, the, the budgeting, ganyan. Pero pagdating sa let's say capital expense or yeah. may merong project na gagawin yung agency that requires some funding, yeah. uh, this one naman po, uh, we don't decide kami ni Ma'am by ourselves. So, we we always consult our leadership team. All right. Kasama so, yung mga leaders ninyo in the, in the discussion, in the decision. Yes, yes. So kami yung magpa-fund 
pero the leaders are always a big part of the decision making process. That's good. Uh, yeah. yeah, we con in, in fact we don't call them uh, unit managers, so we call them generals. Okay. No, uh, <laughs> army parang parang nauna pa kay sa BTS ah, sa army. <laughs> uh, yun sa sa ito naman kasi your your I'm sure in running the agency a lot of ideas come into for, de ba? Introduce mm -hmm. ng innovation. Ito ganyan, paano kayo nagbibigay? Who, who normally uh, introduces innovation and how do you decide na, o oh, sige, tuloy natin itong naisip natin. Paano yun? Paano yung dynamics doon? Okay, actually, ano po siya? Um, for the like uh, strategic direction, vision, uh, mga incentives, ganyan, uh, madalas ako, yung nag, uh, ako po yung nagpo-formulate. Right. And then I would, uh, I would run it kay mom. I, uh, okay. I would present it to her, and then she'll, of course, she'll give her inputs, and then uh, I'll tweak it, and then uh, present again. Pagka na present na ulit, then we will uh, show it to our leadership team. Right. Okay. Yon. Very clear yung procedure. Parang merong nag, uh, nag and then there's consultation. Pag nabuo na yung konsepto sa inyong dalawa, uh, again, you present it to your generals, no? And once yes. na ma-approve ng general, saka you implement. Yes. And yes, yeah. often oftentimes po, the generals also have their own uh, uh, yeah, feedback and yeah. their inputs, which we also uh, include, no? Okay. And, and I'm sure because of that, the support uh, of the generals and your army, kita-kita dun sa mga programa ninyo. Ay, yes po. I think the manpower numbers would also uh, be proof of that. Okay. Good. I think that's a very good practice, no, Jay? It's again, no, it's very uh, nice to know na talagang uh, very uh, ano to, aligned, no, yung inyong uh, uh, proseso, no, in the in the agency between you and your mom. Uh, mm -hmm. But as business partners and at the same time as mother and son, how do you ensure that the former does not get in the way of the latter or vice versa? In short, paano nyo nasa separate ang personal sa professional? Is, is, is that even possible, Reno? Actually, good question po yung nasa dulo nun. Kasi that's, uh, in our case, it's parang impossible and uh, it's, not, uh, it's not bad per se because, well, uh, siguro, like sa family gatherings, syempre, let's say before the pandemic, we'll have parties, we'll have family gatherings, reunions. So, syempre, may business talk pa din. Uh, sometimes, ang nagre-reklamo yung mga ano namin, yung mga kapatid ko. Parang, oh, <laughs> negosyo pa rin pinag-uusapan nyo. <laughs> oh, so, in a way, we <laughs> ang hirap talaga is, is separate. No? Yeah. It will always come up as a conversation piece. Uh, like, oh, ma'am, yung ano, yung bagong incentive program for next month na, ano ba, nakita mo na ba? <laughs> Habang kumakain kami sa isang party, parang ganon. So, <laughs> ayun. Pero, uh, ano naman, ang mahalaga dyan is, even if ganyan nga, parang imposible, uh, we, we never forget that we are mom and son first. Una yan eh. You know, even before the business, mag-inak mm. kayo, mag kayo na. So the respect is always there. Mm -hmm. uh, I have, of course, I have hi high respect for my mom, and vice versa. She has high respect for me. And as such, let's say, kunyari, may mga disagreements kami. And yeah. marami, nangyayari talaga yan. May mga yes, disagreements, yes. may arguments. No? Um, we have a rule uh, between my mom and me, which is to uh, praise in public, but uh, criticize in private. That's, our, that's a standing rule. Uh, so, pag may ano, may mali, oh, sige, let's talk about it. Kanya, kanyari, nag, medyo mag, uh, ano na kami in front of our leadership uh, team. Uh, okay, let's talk about it later. Parang ganon. So, shelves muna natin. Then, kung, pag kami na sort out the issue. And madalas na sort out naman. And, and that uh, applies, uh, Reynold, sa mga decisions. No? Because sometimes there are decisions wherein your opinions differ. Diba? So, iba yung opinion mo, iba yung opinion ni mami mo. So, yun na nga. How do you normally resolve that? Ay, napakadali po niyan. Uh, when it comes to a differing uh, approach and differing uh, uh, I go back to rule number one. Mother knows best. <laughs> <laughs> so, very good son. Very good son. 
Yes. Uh, ano yan? Siyempre, we, ano, we, uh, we give our inputs. Uh, ako, the leadership team, ganyan. But at, at the end, it's always my mom. The commanding officer always has the final say. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's, yes. it has never been an issue for you? No. Hindi <laughs> po. <laughs> okay. Ayan, very clear. Uh, nung kasi yung pandemic last year, no? Di ba? Uh, at the initial uh, phase, uh, a lot of things are very much unclear and uncertain. Mm-hmm. So, yung bang magkasama kayo ng mami mo sa isang agency, nakatulong o mas nag kayo kasi you are relying on one business and if things do not turn out well, parang wala kayong fallback situation. So, what was your mindset when the pandemic began to impact the movement of people and the economy? Uh... Actually, Sir Ivy, the good thing there is uh, my mom and I, we went through so many crises in the past. Right. Uh, the, 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 the pandemic, the lockdown of 2020, that already happened 12 years uh, after the global financial crisis of 2008. So my mom and I were no stranger when it comes to crisis, to uncertainties. Uh, in fact, uh, I would even go as far as saying we thrive in uncertainty. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I uh, just ano ko lang medyo i modest yes ay magbubuhat lang ako ng sarili kong bangko. Uh, in fact, last year, uh, April at the height of the lockdown when the digital platform was not approved by Insurance Commission and all that. At the height of the lockdown, as a personal producer, I closed the biggest sale of the agency last year. So I brought in a uh, 32 million single premium uh, placement. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, uh, the re- yes, the reason there is I, I was able to turn crisis into an opportunity. Siyempre, we, we know na bumagsak ang stock market because of the lockdown and all that. So, nag, you know, the clients were able to see an opportunity in that uh, mm-hmm. in that instance. No? Mm-hmm. Now, uh, nakatulong yon yung malaking sale na yun. Tapos... Uh, Ang maganda rin dito is uh, the agency, as I mentioned, uh, with 93% uh, millennials, Gen Z, and the population. So most of them live on the digital platform. So when the, you know, when the IC approved the digital online selling, ang bilis mag-pivot ng mga advisors. Ang bilis matuto. So the accreditation for digital selling, ang bilis mag, uh, magpa-accredit and all that. Now, Yung uncertainty po when it comes to the financials naman, because as you mentioned nga po, Sir IB, Ma'am J, my mom and I were in the same boat. No? We're, yeah. Yeah, we're in the same boat. We're in the, we're in the same um, business. Uh, it's not really an issue because natuto rin kami from the global financial crisis of 2008. So throughout the years, we're investing, we're saving, we have income generating assets uh, such that uh, kahit bumagsak yung negosyo by... At one point, we were only doing 20% of what we normally do. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I know it, it was painful, especially for our people. Yeah. Uh, but financially, uh, we were okay because we have income-generating assets. I think, again, uh, very good points that you shared. The one is in looking at the opportunity in every crisis. Uh, mm-hmm. Number two is that never ever forget what you've been through because the lessons of the past can be very useful for today and in the, in the in the future no and then and third which is very important na i reiterate sa in the industry na parang kumikita dapat uh, we set aside yes. a yeah. significant amount and that will tide us over in very difficult and unpredictable times in the back that's okay, true po no eh kasi naka minsan nakakalungkot na tayo nagtuturo tayo pang nakakalimot no now uh, yes. Jay mentioned earlier na during this particular challenging time, dun lumago yung inyong manpower. Okay, so what is it that you and mom did uh, to grow your number of advisors who are productive uh, in such a different uh, abnormal situation in the industry? Yes. Uh, ano nga po siya eh? Parang at first it looks uh, bleak, it looks uh, scary even. Uh, but as I mentioned, we you, you just look for that silver lining, look for that opportunity in a crisis. So nakita namin agad very early we saw that uh, you know the the way to get to the way to thrive in this is to get advisors who are digital natives. 
Hmm. So, we're really looking at nasa mga 20s, ganyan, at most na yung 30s. But actually, so, pag 30s nga sa amin, matanda na eh. <laughs> so, karamihan 20s talaga. And uh, because of the whole shift in the economy, because of the of the pandemic, the lockdown, uh, a lot of uh, you know these Gen Z, the 20s, they're looking for a side hustle. That's mm. what we call it in our uh, name, in our uh, group. Side hustle, side hustle. Mm. So most of our uh, advisors are part timers. Um, mm -hmm. In fact, we don't call them part timers. May tawag din kami. Ang tawag sa kanila, the slashy. 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 Talaga okay. so, iba ng mga terms. <laughs> ano siya? Uh, millennial term ang slashy. <laughs> yeah. So ibig sabihin, you're, let's say, you're an operations manager with this uh, company, slash financial advisor with Regan Financial. You're a slashy. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, yun pong ginawa namin. We focus our recruitment efforts on the Gen Z, uh, the millennials, those people who strive in the digital platform. Sila po ang pinokus namin. And then... Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Apa. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. And then, what, uh, what we did po, aside, instead of just recruiting, we empowered them na upon uh, onboarding, we empower them to also recruit agad. So we have a lot of um, uh, associate unit managers in our team na months old pa lang sa company, AUM na, at nagbubuo na ng teams. Ganun po. So force multiplier. Force multiplier siya. Again, what I, I can gather from what you said is that you're, you're able to match the opportunity, which is the digital space now, with uh, whoever will be in a position to capitalize on that opportunity, which are the millennials and Gen Zs. Now. So, yan din yes. yung excitement. Something that uh, the other leaders can also look at now, uh, when they try to expand their own uh, agencies. Jay? Okay. Reynold, would you say that um, it was a big decision a big advantage that you are co-managing the agency with your mom when this pandemic happened? Ah, yes po. Yes. Definitely. A huge yes. Kasi uh, managing an agency by yourself is already a huge task during normal times. Mm -hmm. So put in pa the pandemic with so many clients panicking and so many redemptions, so many lapses. So it's it's a big advantage to have someone to lean on. You know, you, ha you have, nagsasandalan kami ng nanay ko eh. We, mm. we, we lean on each other. There's mm -hmm. the 100% support for each other is always there. So, the, I think siguro the biggest difference there is being mother and son. Uh, mm. We are family. So, as mm. family, you, nev you never let family down. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In, in, the, in this uh, challenging situation, uh, what came out as the biggest parang strength of each other and how how was it complementing each other also? Uh, ano po yan? Well, si mom, kasi her biggest strength is she's an, eh, she is uh, very strong in management and in details. Mm -hmm. She's strong in uh, monitoring. So she was even with the whole pandemic thing going on, Talagang na monitor ni mom na husto yung mga due dates, uh, policies na na prevent namin maglaps yung mga policies. Uh, more than ever, the advisors needed the support from the backroom, from you know from the managers. So na provide ni mom yon, no? Uh, in my case, naman, uh, I was I'm I'm more of a motivator, uh, the mentor in the in the team. So especially those yung mga medyo na na parang nahihirapan to adapt to the new normal, yun, I had to also share with them uh, some of the insights and the opportunities that they can take advantage of. So talagang nag-complement no, yung strength yung dalawa as mother mother and son. Aside from that, yes. ano pa, Reynold, ang masasabi mo parang uh, na benefits of having your mother or having your son as a business partner in your experience lalo lang itong pang, mga challenging times well yun nga po uh, it's ano it's it's a big thing na being family there the trust is there eh. there's 100% trust mm -hmm. 
Alam mong hindi ka ipapahamak, hindi ka ipapahiya, hindi ka ilalaglag. Parang ganon. So, you can operate and you can work and perform with the 100% capacity. Wala kang, wala, there's no room for doubt. Kumbaga. Parang ganon. Yun. So, and, and that is ano to, very evident and very present, not only between the two of you, but in the entire agency as well. No? Because as you mentioned kanina, you you make it a practice to consult your unit managers no and your AUM so siguro talagang yung yung anon to no yung trust no and respect nyo between the two of you yung mom nyo went beyond the two of you no at talagang yes, naman sa sa ahensya and that's why it's very impressive no that during this challenging time Regan Financial talagang ngayon kayo nagbloom Yes. <laughs> Actually, ako rin po nagugulat. Eh. <laughs> Now, I, I guess it's just a matter of being a trusting, really putting the trust in the people that you are with, uh, you know, your management team, the your advisors. Everyone has their own skill and their own ano, eh, their own strengths. Eh. So, yes. Nak- nakakatuwa kasi what what your sharing and experiencing in their agency to me is a reflection of what's happening in the family no? in trust in respect in open communication and all the things that you've mentioned uh I've, i've seen your mom work and i totally agree na medyo firm yan diba medyo kumbaga tamang ano mo general parang talagang five star general yan eh diba ano yan pero on the other hand okay what i also found naman in your mom is that her willingness to listen kasi may mga ibang tao na parang very firm pero sarado uh, in her case di ba uh, firm siya pero she, she is able to listen and see new things that can help her, her agency no? well uh, alam mo pag sa parati yung sinasabi sa programa na ito pag masarap ang usapan ang bilis ng oras eh ha? all right <laughs> So, uh, may, may, uh, I got a, a few final questions sa'yo, Reynold. One is that yung, uh, obvious is that the relationship that you have with your mom uh, plays very well in your co-managing the agency. So what will be your words of inspiration or advice no, to other parents and children in the industry who are contemplating of going into a co-manager setup? Well, uh, first of all, you have to look at uh, if this, uh, if your relationship is good as a parent and a child, no? Uh, I think that has to be established from the very start. Now, you have a good relationship. Hindi kayo nagbabanggaan, hindi kayo nag-away. Um, it's my mom's birthday today, so she's a Libra. Uh, four days, yes, four days from now, it's my birthday also. So I'm also a Libra. Libra yeah, rin. So... Alam niyo naman ang sign ng Libra, balancing scale. So, we know how to balance, we know how to uh, to have a collaborative effort with each other. So, hindi yung parang you're being strong-headed na ipipilit mo yung gusto mo without listening to anybody. So, uh, if the relationship is good, by all means, if you're and also if your company will allow it, will allow a co-management uh, setup, mm. by all means go for it, no? Uh, the best business to get into talaga is where you have the support of the family. And as long as you have a mutual respect and for each other and uh, the roles are clearly defined, then walang, mangy- mang- walang ibang pupuntahan yung negosyo kundi lumaki, lumakas, yeah. at maging successful. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, words of wisdom. Ngayon, uh, you've worked with your mom very closely, no? Uh, So what is one lesson that you learned from her? Before I uh, also ask you, what do you think will be a lesson your mom would want to share if uh, she were with us tonight? Okay, sa akin po, ano, Sir IB, I'm a firm believer in the ano, in the strength of people. So uh, my uh, lesson I can share with everyone is to surround yourself with great people. You know, great managers and team members will make the team great. Now, uh, to get some words from uh, the late Steve Jobs, no? mm. the, the greatest irony in business is you hire or invite the best people to join you 
and then you proceed to tell them what to do. <laughs> that's that's the biggest irony in business, you know. So I'm, I'm, I believe that the people you invite to your team, you saw something in them, you know their true potential, give them enough space to grow and manifest this true potential and just watch your business blossom. So that's that's from me, Po. And uh, yes. actually, uh, a few hours before this, <laughs> from your mom, mo na. Sige nga. <laughs> yeah, actually, a, a few hours before this, uh, she said, "Sabi ng mom ko, kasi nsa na hindi siya makapunta, dahil talaga masama ang pakiramdam niya and all." But uh, she asked me to, ano, to share with her kung sa sagot ko nga sa inyo. <laughs> so nagpractice, nagpractice kami. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, but my mom said, "Na uh, ano, for her." lesson that my mom wants to share to everyone. You know, leadership is a huge responsibility. Mm. And as a leader, it is your duty and responsibility to guide and lead your people uh, to become great. Now, uh, the blind cannot lead the blind. So as a leader, you have to go through continuous learning. You have to follow the law of the lead, which mm. is ikaw yung pinaka-lead ng buong grupo. So that people will continue to look up to you and follow you until they reach their true potential. So yun po. Thank you. Thank you to both of you. No? And uh, clearly what, what has happened uh, through the years in your agency is a demonstration of those um, solid lessons. No? Jay? Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Manager Reynold, for your very generous and candid sharing. I'm so sure... Uh, Manager Ed now will be very proud no? or is very proud listening to you tonight. No, knowing her, kahit na naka-IT yung hospital, it's either nanonood siya or nakikinig siya ngayon sa mga sinasabi mo. No? Uh, and making sure na lahat ng sinasabi mo ay uh, talagang tama because sabi mo nga, mother knows best. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm know, checking my cell phone. Wala naman po siyang message sa akin na mali akong sinabi. <laughs> Ibig sabihin, you were doing a good job. Okay? Agree siya sa lahat ng mga sinabi mo. But Reno, we are not yet done. Tapos na tayo sa pinaka, parang pinaka-formal na mga questions natin. So we'll go to the informal and the fun fun lang. No? I'm supposed okay, to, I was supposed to do the mother and son trivia but Wala, na, wala kasi si Miss Edna, so hindi natin pwedeng gawin yon So balik ako sa fast talk. So gagawa ako okay. ng fast talk. Gawa tayo ng fast talk sa iyo. Al alam mo naman to, no? So uh, very uh, quickly, just uh, make your, uh, give your answer or make your choice. Okay, number one, ready ka na? Parang bigla po akong kinabahan, ha? <laughs> Parang dito ka mas kinabahan, ha? Hindi doon sa iyong mga, <laughs> hindi sa dating ano, mga ibang questions. Okay, ito, kayang-kaya mo to. Since you are a car enthusiast, Oh, okay. Favorite car brand? Uh, Ferrari. Okay. Favorite part of the house? Uh, bedroom. Okay. Parasailing or scuba diving? Oh, scuba diving. Power or influence? Influence. Quantity or quality? Quality. Boxers or pajamas? Pajamas. <laughs> Beach or mountain? Beach, 100%. Okay. First love or last love? Last love. Okay. Ayusin mo yan. <laughs> okay. Lights on or lights off? Lights on. Takot ako sa dilim. <laughs> okay. Fill in the blanks. My mom is a blank leader while I am a blank leader. Um... My mom is a beautiful leader. <laughs> Agree. And, uh, and I am a young leader. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so beautiful and young. So thank you again, um, Reynold, for uh, doing this fast talk, no? So for being so game. And again, for giving us an access to your to the successful tandem nyo ng mommy mo, no? Although Miss Edna is not around, but based on your answers no you gave us an access on what makes the two of you tick okay and that's why ito yon no parang yung formula ng success ng iyong uh, ng inyong agency i really like the way uh, you put it no that uh, before being business partners 
first of all, you are a mother and a son. Okay? So, mother and son kayo. And sabi mo nga, when it comes to family, di ba, the full trust is there. You feel uh, so uh, confident. You feel so inspired. And you feel so supported when you are working with your family. No, family member. So, uh, again, maraming maraming salamat, uh, Reynold. I'm sure uh, those... Uh, mother or not lang mother no those parents parents and children who are still thinking of whether to go into this kind of partnership no or no they learn so much from you on how they can even be better uh, parent and ch uh, children no or parent or child partnership so maraming maraming salamat sa lahat ng sharing na binigay mo sa amin no uh, you more than ano to well represented no miss edna also so although na miss namin siya uh, baga ba eh, yung presence niya but yung sharing mo eh parang sharing na rin ng mother and son so again thank you very much and all the best to regan financial as you uh, start no your next uh, kasi nag 20 years kayo ngayon di ba so you're going to uh, start naman another milestone for the agency. So all the best, Reynold and Miss Edna. Again, get well soon. Thank you, I'm, I'm Thank sure. You. Uh, yeah, I'm sure your mom is one proud mama again tonight, and uh, she's now relaxed because patapos na tayo eh, ha? Uh, <laughs> But uh, get well soon, uh, Miss Edna. No, and again, Reynold, Brian, salamat for joining us tonight. We really appreciate your. Uh, candid sharing about the dynamics that uh, goes between you and your mom. No? Um, my takeaway is that uh, truly there is so much reward and the, far, the reward far outweighed and risk between a parent and child tandem. Ang um, aking uh, hope is that a lot more parents and children will venture into agency together like what you did uh, with your mom. Kasi by doing this, the agency will attract and will bring in more people from different generations. And again, as you have displayed, no, you were able to bring a lot of Gen Cs and Millennials who can make the most of the new environment in life insurance selling. This will be good no, for increasing the insurance penetration in our country, which is most needed, especially at this uh, time. Yes, yeah, so thank you again, uh, Manager Reynold. And thank you everyone for uh, again making us your uh, Thursday evening habit. No, uh, I'm so sure just like Mr. Ib and I, you also have your own key takeaways from all the great sharings that we uh, heard from uh, Manager Reynold. No, so uh, if you want to, uh, if you miss this whole episode and you want to, or you want to watch again our full interview with uh, Reynold. Again, please uh, visit our Facebook page or YouTube channel. No? So, uh, uh, and please don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe all our social media platforms. So, Reynold, I hope ha, fa follow mo na ang ating leaders in action and you can share this with all your uh, other agency leaders. Definitely, ma, definitely. Diba si Igo is also part of the agency, Reynold? Yes, po, as an advisor. Right. Uh, the reason we ask is because uh, you might find our episode next week interesting because we'll be featuring siblings who are working in the same agency. No? So we will have as our special guests uh, very young sisters, Isabel and Julian. Julian Benitez of EYJ Insurance Agency of In Life. They will mm. share with us how they are leading their own respective units. So, meron silang sarili nilang units. But at the same time, uh, just like you, when you were uh, starting, they are now act, uh, making a more active role in running the whole agency. So, I'm sure that uh, next week we'll have another fun and engaging conversation with Isa and Julian. So, we invite you again, Reynold and your mom. And by the time we're sure she is better, and uh, everyone to join again next week. Yeah, so dear leaders, it's our date again with the, ito, eh, talaga ito, mga millennial at Gen Z pa nga yata itong uh, kapatid na ito, no? So si Isa and Julia, no? So 
after hearing from husband and wife last week and now no the perspective naman of mother and son from the eyes of Mr. Uh, Reynold Gan next week we will have naman the perspectives from siblings no so magkapatid ito na batang bata din sa insurance industry so uh, we invite you all again that would be next Thursday that's October 21 yeah. 8 p.m. here in Leaders in Action. Real leaders. Real stories. Real talk. Thank Bye. you, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you, <laughs> you did it. Get well, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy birthday, Sina. And get well. Bye, everybody. Bye.